So recently I had an opportunity to fly a really incredible tandem trike. I got some clips of the experience and I wanted to share it with you guys. So what trike am I talking about? This is the Eco 2 made by Fly Products with the RNZ 500 engine. In the lineup of tandem trikes, this trike is definitely on the higher end. It's a bigger trike, beefier components, big engine. It's a workhorse of a tandem trike. Just for a little comparison, let's talk about the engine by itself. My tandem trike, aka Big Bertha, is powered by a Moster 185, 185cc air-cooled engine, about 25 horsepower. The engine I'm upgrading to on my trike now is the Polini 303, 281 cc's of displacement and approximately 38 horsepower. This trike on the other hand, the Eco 2, is powered by a 500 cc twin cylinder two stroke engine putting out about 50 horsepower. It spins a 160 centimeter three blade propeller. We're talking some serious power here. This trike is actually owned by my buddy Derek. He ordered it through me, thanks Derek. So we unboxed this brand new trike from the crate and put it together. The whole assembly process was honestly really easy. The trike came almost all the way assembled out of the box. Some other features that make this trike unique is it has a disc brake on the front wheel. That's controlled with your left foot, so if you need to, you can slow this thing down in a hurry. Also very unique to this trike is it has a foot throttle. That's controlled with your right foot, just like the gas pedal in a car. At first, I was hesitant about this because I'm used to a hand throttle, but turns out when I flew it for the first time, it was actually pretty intuitive. So after we got the trike fully assembled, we took her outside and did the first start. Absolutely zero hiccups. This is a pull start system. It's a direct drive and it has no clutch, but it was a pretty easy pull to get her running. Everything worked flawlessly right out of the box. So after that, we took the trike out to the airstrip and did a couple taxi tests. We kind of wanted to get familiar with what the foot throttle felt like, make sure everything is holding together in a little shakedown run. Sounds like an airplane. He's kicking up dust. <laughs> Careful, Derek. <laughs> Holy. Oh my now Derek and I kind of went back and forth on what we should do for the first flight. I was gonna be the test pilot, but we were trying to decide if we should do it solo or tandem. And I was like, you know what? Why don't we just do it tandem? Derek's an experienced pilot. I have my tandem certification. I'm familiar with trikes. So let's just go all in and do the first flight tandem. And that's what we did. Derek paired this wing with a Triox 34 meter. I'm very familiar with the Triox 38. That's what I normally fly. But he went with a smaller size basically because he can, because he has all the power in the world the wing still has plenty of weight limit to carry the heavier trike two full-grown adults so why not have a smaller faster wing first launch went perfectly I set up the a assist which I've actually never used before which basically inflates the wing for you and the cool thing was just a little bit of gas on this big trike and it just ripped the triox right into the air there was like zero time for the wing to do anything squirrely because it just yanked it up and above my head so quick All right, you good? I backed off the gas, taxied for a little bit, rolled on full power, and she took off perfectly. Pretty fast takeoff, and I immediately noticed that there was a slight pronounced torque effect, a little more than I expected, because this is such a big, torquey, large propeller, large engine. You could definitely feel the torque. Woo! We're doing it! Holy s**t, this thing has power. This is a 30 
four meter wake tandem and we're just climbing like no problem. We started flying around and I started to get a feel for this setup and my first impressions were that this thing rips. One cool thing about having the foot throttle is you can reach up and grab the top handles on your brake toggles without having the throttle in the way, which was super nice. This gives you even more control, a better grip on a wing that has a lot of heavy brake pressure. 500 cc twin cylinder. This thing is incredible. It's effortless, dude. We're going so fast under this little 34 meter wing using barely any throttle. My hands are free. I got a kill switch. Throttles down on my foot. Man, I'm kind of jealous of Derek's setup here. And it's fast. I let the trimmers out and that thing zips by really quick. I didn't get a GPS speed, but we were covering ground probably faster than my free ride trims out. So I trimmed out on the 34 meter triox. I'm holding some right tip steer to counter the torque. I'm at a nice steady cruising RPM on this thing and we are hauling, we are pushing a headwind and uh, it's just no problem. This thing is like a tank, dude. This is the machine for easy tandems. That launch was so easy. The handling was very dynamic. This is almost like flying a free ride, my slalom wing at a tandem level. It dives like crazy. It handles very sharp and intuitively. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Hell yeah! Nice. This thing is a beast! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I can't believe how cold I am! Dude, it hooks into a dive and it's just like... <laughs> 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 I started pulling on a little bit, I was like, whoa, that feels like it could develop something big. Yeah, it's like, not... I'm gonna pass it back before I do something stupid. <laughs> it's almost not even like a wing over, it's just like a speed wing dive. Yeah. The power level was very comfortable as well. Even trimmed all the way out, I didn't feel like I was stressing the engine at all throughout the flight. Additionally, when I hit full power in the trims in configuration, the climb rate was incredible. I'm used to on tandem flights, having to kind of be aware of your climb rate and think two steps ahead because you know you're not gonna climb very fast, but this was like flying my solo setup. You could just hit the gas, climb at probably close to 900 or 1000 feet per minute. Throughout this evening, I flew Derek, then I flew Derek's dad, then I flew Derek's wife, and then I got to fly with my mom. And I haven't flown tandem with my mom in a long time, and it was pretty fun. Given how dynamic this setup handles and how confident I felt in the entire system, I told my mom, tell me if you feel sick, I'm gonna do some a little bit more crazy stuff. And we threw some pretty decent wing overs, the biggest wing overs I've ever sent on a tandem configuration. Diving at the ground, ripping around in the airstrip, and I think she had a blast. So overall, who would I recommend this trike for? The thing is a beast. I would say anyone who's planning on doing tandems all the time, this is gonna be a good workhorse for you. If you're like Derek and you just wanna one-up all your buddies, this is the trike for you. The main drawback, I think, is just the size and needing a good way to transport it. I know Derek is taking kind of the axles off and swinging them forward every time he has to move it. So that's kind of a legitimate concern and a con in some ways compared to smaller trikes like mine that I can fit in the bed of my pickup.
that was more fun than I had in a long time. <laughs> oh, and she thought she wasn't gonna go. <laughs> That's about all I got for this one. I think this is my last video until we hit the road. I've been talking about this big west road trip for a while. So buckle up, get ready for some epic adventures, a lot of base jumping coming soon. Follow me on Instagram at TuckerGot to make sure you keep up to date with our current adventures. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace. Zzz.